Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain how to uh, make another page for UI and in a UI, Word UI, I want to explain something called Event Observer. It's in a logic Event Observer. If you go into the map, I call this map, uh, as you can see, if you game over if you hit the enemy game over you're going to the game over page double click this is our game over page like other page you can add a, a button to navigate to others i explained them before uh, and i will explain them more in button but uh, here you can simply for example, in a game uh, for UI, you can right click and add a new UI. You can add a lot of new UI that you want. For example, in a main menu, you want to uh, add an information page for your game. It's very simple. You can add a button, uh, any button that you want. For example, you have to... <coughs> use navigation button here I'm going to explain the navigation button the most button that we use if you use a navigation button it navigates you to somewhere if it's in a function is default here you can change the transform that position rotation scale and opacity here you can define a graphic to that if you want navigation button it's not important for example information this you can drag and drop any graphic to the this window with click and drag or if you select it if you select that you can uh, play this animation if you select it another animation or you can add the animation simple of course you stick to the edge and you can add a sound when it's click or when you release it and I explain them later or here you can keyboard uh, assign for example if you are on a keyboard you can hit F for info you can click go to the info this is an button navigation button the most important thing is function the function it's uh, it, this is very common and powerful button that uh, brings you everywhere default mode if you select the default mode if you bring back to the word as you can see a, a hole or a exit will be appear here because of the navigation button you for for better understanding first you have to rename it to the info and if you going back to the here as you can see you can bring it to the info and you can mm, connect this new page to the info it's very simple I said uh, to better understanding the this map it's better to set the function of the uh, navigation button to the default and connect it to the new page new word any of that word. or rename this uh, new UI to the info and here you can go and add graphic to your page here you can add any graphic to your page as a image okay this is our background you can scale it as you want and you can add a type uh, any gra other graphic here if you go to the this page we need a back button another useful of this navigation button is here you can add a back button here you can add a, a graphic for example this back button you can come back and here in a object manager you have to bring it up this this background is at the button and this navigation button is up. and call it back call it back uh you can do two things in the function if it is in a default if you go into the map as you can see another button another uh exits will be appear here and you can back anywhere that you want 
for example you can you can back to the world ui you can back to the main ui or you can simply where is it you can simply select it and choose back if you choose back as, as you can see it's automatically back to the previous um, node and let's test it okay as you can see this is our info if you click it we are going to the info page and if you back you're going to the uh, first the previous page as you can see it's very easy to programming the or you can add another page and with a build box you can for example uh, create a little small um, app if you want for example with a build box not also you can build a game you can build a small application for your information it's very easy in a build box with these pages okay it's very simple and easy. Another important thing in a software is it's in a world UI. It's the observer. If you game over, as you can see, this is an observer. This observer, this event observer will look at your game, look at your function, and if something happen, do uh, another thing for you. For example, if you're going to the select this observer, game observer, this is called game over. If you game over, it's bring you to the next page. The function is default. If you select it to the default, you can connect it to the other page. If you game over, it connected to the uh, another word UI that is the game over page. Or you can, if you won, if you win game, you can uh, add another uh, game observer to the logic uh, event observer here it's not very important very but it, do, it doesn't look in a game just to our observer and event type we have a lots of event type here the function is default means as you can see you can call it event observer when you win for example and as you can see a little hole will be appear here that you can connect this win to the this win page we can call it win and like before you can go in here and win and add the navigation button here as a back you can test all of this pause share exit the window you can add the exit full screen add a simple graphic for back and that's it or you can add a background to that can add a background to for win page it's very simple holding shift to scale it proportionally and the navigation button has been on the top of all of them and this function is a back and everything's in nice it's in win if you win uh we can go with this part okay so we have to, uh, to select the event type if we win we don't have anything like win here you have to decide that we what happened to your game or for example you collect some coins you get your power after that you can win or you uh, can go somewhere and after that it means you win you have to select what do you want to call a win or you can uh, session distance or session points or total point. I like to um, session coin. It's total. It means if you lose, your previous coin will be maintained. But I don't like that. I like, for example, the total coin. And here you can say how many coin do you want to eat to win for example 20 and and if this happen if this happen you will be go to the win page because of this observer this observe your 
gaming and look at what happened and then do something for you the mode is default it means the hole will be appear and you can connect it to the page and as you can see it's pause the current game board or not if you win it's everything done we don't want to pause it it's pause whenever you are okay can test it if i eat 20 score of coin i will be win hopefully i can okay Oops. okay that's it one more time and as you can see we are being going to the this and you can add a lot of animation you learn how to do it in a purpose lesson and okay i don't want to back okay because i win i have to go in here this uh, button does not work the navigation to back back to what you can uh going and restart the game okay you can set the functions to real so it's very simple you can add any function to you want i want to restart our game okay that's it hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release